Hello everybody, Bill Thornton, SoCal Sabre here. Welcome back for some baseball action today. It's game 50 of the 1984 Detroit Tiger replay on Out of the Park Baseball 25. As you can see up here, let's go to the, so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. Let's go over here. See the Tigers are 32 and 17, not like they were in real life at this point in time, but I'll take it. I'm in second place, but I'm still four and a half behind this Toronto team, which is on a real roll. We have not played them yet. <clears throat> Today's game, number 50, is going to be against Baltimore, and it's going to be right-handed pitcher Mike Brodicker facing Jack Morris. Jack is the, right now leading the team with 7-2 and two with a 3.04 ERA. So let's get this uh, game started. Afterwards, I'll show you the box score and some, a, uh, some highlights from the American League and so forth like that. Let's see what we got going here. Okay, we got Barbary and left. That means that Herndon's getting a day off. Okay, no Herndon's here. He's put the DH in today. Okay, come on. Who we got playing third base today? We got Howard Johnson playing third. Whitaker at second. Uh, Tom Brookins is hurt. That's why I was wondering what the way, which way they were going to go on this. I don't know if I would have much rather had. Um, He's batting 269 Garbery. I don't know if I would rather have Rupert Jones in as the the left fielder. Let's see what Rupert's doing right now. Well, I like he's doing 212. I think we'll have, leave Garbery have have a shot at this one. Let's see how it works. <clears throat> We're going against the righty. So we do have a few lefties in the lineup. The top of the order's got some lefties as well. So we're going to get started here. We are in Detroit today. On a nice bright sunny day. And here we go. <clears throat> We're going to do, do our traditional swing around the park. Jack Morris is out on the mound, ready to go, waiting for the signal from the TV, the umpire as the TV crews are swinging, getting ready. Jack dealing on the first battery faces, one out. There's a Wayne Gross. Got him too. And here we go with Raquel Ripken Jr. Ground ball down the third. Johnson, who normally plays DH, but gets it over there, but he's a is a backup third baseman. <coughs> Here we go. Gibby leading off, batting 256. He's been on a little bit of a slump lately. And who won the pull today, Doug? Who's when the phone would ring? All right, there we go. Been a, hasn't been as hot as he was at the beginning of the season. Good. Gibby hit that ball pretty hard. It's pretty far. And that baby is, oh, caught by the right fielder. My dead perception is gone. Here we go. Lou Whitaker, Lou's batting. 313. Having a good season so far, folks. Lou hits that ball right at the right fielder. He didn't even have to move. <clears throat> Here's Chet Lemon having a really good season. 347. <clears throat> Got him swinging. Both pitchers. Deal in the first inning, and it's one to nothing going into the top of the second. And here is Eddie Murray, big power man. Hits that ball hard right down the line. That's going to go for extra bases. It's in the corner. And Gibby digs it out. He's having a hard time and throws in the second, but he's a little bit late. Gary Roenick. Ball gets away from Parrish, but he jumps in front of it real quickly to hold him. And the runner at second. There's a shot out to center. Lemon's there. He's to get that ball in so he don't tag up. <clears throat> Al Bumbry. Al's got some occasional power. What has he done this year? Whoa, he hasn't hit a home run yet this year. I shouldn't have been commentator cursed on him. Ground ball down to first. Evans picks it up, steps on first. And that's two. 
<clears throat> need to get this guy, Rich Dower. Got him. We are going to the bottom of the second. Here's Alan Trammell. Alan's batting 3 33 on the season. And he pops it up. Here's Lance Parrish. Parrish is batting 241, and that's pretty darn good considering I don't know how many games away it was. He was batting like 140. Then he got on a roll. Let's see if he can stay on the roll today, folks. Against this right handed dude. Parrish hits that ball pretty hard. Way back there. Into the seats. There we go. Continuing his power display. It's Darrell Evans. Batting 240. And he hits that ball pretty good, but the right fielder's got a beat on it and brings it home. Two down for Howard and Johnson. Batting left-handed today. And there's a little blooper out the right that the right fielder's got a beat on, and that is that. But the Tigers do get one off the bat of Lance Parrish. And here's Ken Singleton. This guy is always a scary guy. What's Ken doing this year so far? 226. But well, he's got some power. <clears throat> there's a ground ball to Trammell. Picks it up. Fires over to Evans. And there's one out here in the top of the third. <clears throat> Rick Dempsey, the catcher. Got him swinging. Two down. Mike Young. And he pops it up. The center fielder is there. Lemon puts it in the glove. And we're going to the bottom of the third with Larry Herndon. Larry's betting 264, which is good because he was in a slump at the beginning of the year also. Herndon, slow grounded out to short, picked up by Ripken, thrown over, and then one out. Here's Garbery. What is Garbery betting so far this year? 269. Wow. All right. Let's see if he can get, hit the righties, though. Yeah, he's with Scott looking on that curveball, folks. Here's Gibby. Draws the walk. Okay. Here's a Lou Whitaker. Lou hits that ball pretty hard, pretty deep. But the right fielder's right out there by the warning track. Brings it home. Three outs. Going to the top of the fourth here, <clears throat> Wayne Gross. And he draws the walk. It's first base on balls given up by Morris today so far. So far. Here's Ripken. There's a line drive right over to Garbrey. Oh, he dropped it, folks. He dropped it. First and second on the error, and here is Eddie Murray, the power man. Grandma, let's turn this double play. I don't need, they're not going to turn the double play. It's going to be second and third with one out. <clears throat> Never had a strikeout. This would be the time here, Jack. It's a little ground ball. The runners are advancing. They're not going to get anybody. They're safe. He beats out that infield hit. And it's now his runners on the corner. With one out and a run in, the game is tied up. Here's Bumbry. Oh, he hits that ball pretty hard. That's up the gap, I think. No, but that's going to get the run in. And they are going to take the lead. <clears throat> Two down for Rich Dower. And Ken Singleton. Hit that ball. Um, he's got a lot of beat on it. And that's three, but they get two runs after committing that error. It's two to one. Bottom of the fourth. Here's Chet Lemon. Chet right to the shortstop. Ripken reaches up, puts it away. Trammell. And another liner to the shortstop. Ripken earning his money in this inning. And here's Lance Parrish. Lance lines it out the left, and that's going to be three quick outs, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go to the top of the fifth here. <clears throat> Two to one, Baltimore. Yeah. 
Another guy to lead off the inning. Mike DeYoung. Pops it up. Trammell takes this one. Oh, Rand Johnson. That wasn't Garbage who committed that error before. That was Johnson. Wayne Gross. There's a base hit. Oh, no, it's not. The left fielder is over there, and he's got the catch. Garbery. Garby. And Ripken. He hit that ball in the left, and Garby's in on that one also, folks. We falsely accused him of making the error earlier. <clears throat> Here we go to the bottom of the fifth. Daryl Evans. Oh, boy, these guys are just looking. you got to swing them bats, guys. Howard Johnson. Pops it up. Two down. Larry Herndon. Boddicker doing good. Herndon hit the ball pretty hard, but the center fielder tracks it down. Out there in right center, and there's three outs. And we're going to the top of the sixth. Eddie Murray. Line drive in the left for a base hit. Carver picks it up, fields it, gets it back in. Holds the runner at first. Gary Roenick. There's a fly ball to Lemon. Get that ball back in here. Lumbry. There's another fly ball out the lemon. And the Rich Dower. Ground ball to second. Whitaker picks it up over to Evans. That's three. We're going to the bottom of the six. Tigers. With only one hit so far, and it was that solo home run by Lance Parrish. There's Garby. Garby lines that one in the center for a hit. Let's get him going. Let's get the guys going here. <clears throat> There's Gibby. Gibby hits it in the left and in the center for that's another one. Garby stops at second. First two runners on here. Waiting for Whitaker here. Whitaker pops it up. Second baseman just on the edge of the outfield grass brings it home. And here is Lemon. Chet's 0 for 2. We could use his hit in here. Oh, wow. Get the first two runners on. Are we going to strand them? Trammel. There's a ground ball, and that's in the right. Okay, we got an average runner and a normal arm. Yes, we're going to send him home. Here comes the throw home. And he's safe, and the game is tied. And Trammell's base hit. Now has a hitting streak of 17 games, folks. Wow. Here we go. Lance Parrish, runners on second and third. This would be some nice insurance here. Parrish, ground ball down to third. Picks it up, fires it over, and that's three. But they got the, they got the game tied up. All right, top of the seventh. Probably the last inning for Morris. Line drive. Oh, and in the right. Evans couldn't get it. It was hit so hard. Okay. Rick Dempsey. Got him looking. Okay. Mike Young, top of the order. Oh, it's a walk. We got runners at first and second now with one out. Wayne Gross is batting 182. This should be your out here, Jack. It's a ground ball down in the left field, and that's going to get a run in, and that's going to give them the lead unless they. No, it didn't get the run in. Okay, the bases are loaded for Cal Ripken Jr. Go figure. He hits that ball in the center. There's the base hit. We're going to score all kinds of runs on this one. And he is. Jack is falling apart this inning. Got to get the bullpen active. Doug Bear, huh? OK, 
Okay. One out still, Eddie Murray. Drawn to walk, and the bases are loaded again. Way to blow the game, Jack. Renke. Ground ball. It's turn this stuff. They, they, they're going home. They're getting the lead runner anyway. Or did they? Miss him. Two outs. They got him. Okay, here's Bumbry. Trammell picks it up. Throws it over to first, and that's three. But they score two runs. They take the lead again. And we're going to do some other other stuff here. We're going to get our really our own up to throw in two. Okay, four to two, bottom of the seventh. Dare Evans. Brodicker still on the mound. Darrell draws the walk. Howard Johnson. Mojo's batting 239. Oh, they throw off and they got him. That's like Three or four times it's happened to Detroit runners. Got picked off. Aye, aye, aye. There's a ground ball of Ripken. Over to Murray. Two down. And Larry Herndon. Another ground ball of Ripken. They're not going to get nothing by him today, it doesn't look like. And we're going to the seventh. Or the eighth. Top of the eighth. That's going to be all for Morris. We're going to put uh, Rodriguez in. We're going to set Doug Bear down. And then we'll put Dave Gumpert warming up. All right, here we go. Aurelio Rodriguez on the mound. Not having the best of seasons. He's a, you don't know what you're going to get from him type pitcher this year. There's a fly ball out the center. Lemon's there. Got a beat on it. And there it is. <coughs> Jim Dwyer. And Rick Nimsey. Ground ball down to third. Johnson got, fields it cleanly and throws him out. Going to the bottom of the eighth. Julio does a nice job that inning. Here's Garby. Garby is a one for two today. Brodicker still on the mound. It's a slow roller. Brodicker's over to field it. Throws it over to Murray, and there's one out. Gibby, one for two. There's a base hit up the middle for Gibby. Lou Whitaker. Pops it up. Shortstop out on the outfield grass. Makes the catch. And Chet Lemon. Here's the ground ball of third. Throws it over to second. There's three outs. Okay, we got Rodriguez still out there. Or Lopez, I mean, Aurelio Lopez. And Wayne Gross. Don't forget when you got a minute, go down there and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel. Help the channel continue growing. Put some comments down there. Do you play this game? Out of the park baseball? 25? Let me know. And here's Cal Ripken Jr. with two outs here in the top of the ninth. Eddie Murray didn't want to face this guy again. There's a ground ball of Whitaker. He should have this one fine. All right, we're going to the bottom of the ninth. Last chance for these Tigers. All right, they're getting into a little bit of a, I'll show you the schedule, so a little bit of semi-losing streak, I will call it. Here's Alan Trammell. They got Tippy Martinez in on relief now. Stand there looking. I don't know how many guys have been looking this game. It's Lance Parrish. Mm -hmm. 
Parrish hits it in the center, right at the center field. Hit it hard, but that was right at him. And Darrell Evans. Draws the walk. Howard Johnson batting right-handed this time. He's got the power, but he can get a hold of it. If he doesn't get a hold of it, then it's going to be the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Here they come out this. <clears throat> All right, look at this. Gibby, two hits. Now, they only had five hits the whole game. Parrish, that was his 14th home run. Jack Morris gets the loss. He's now 7-3 and three with a 3.10. Lopez at 4.54 after two innings. We'll leave the game. We've got some new. We'll finish today. We'll check this news up here in the <coughs> mail and news. Valenzuela hails a shutout. U dominates the Mariners. Details messages. And we'll get back up here and look at this. All right, so they are, they lost the game. Uh, they're now five and a half out. They're 32 and 18 at the 50 game mark. I'm doing the best I can to try to manage these guys better than I did with the 68 Yankees, or 68 Tigers. And there you can see some of the leaders there. But let's go over to the MLB and check out the leaders. And show you the all-star voting as it stands right now. Oh. I've already submitted my ballot, so that doesn't work. We'll do stats. We'll do American League. All right, we got Chet Lemon up in the top five hitters, or six. He's number six with at 340 with... Buddy Bell leading the league at 372. Then we got the Gibby with 15 homers. Parrish with 14 leading the league. Balboni with Kansas City's got 12. And Chris Johnson in Toronto has 12. Got Gibby over here with RBIs. He's only two behind Johnson. And then we have Chet Lemon over here with Sluggin leading the league at 615. Lemon's got a good over 1,000 in OPS. War is 3.4. And here we got Lemon and Trammell with hits. All right, we'll so check the pitching leaders. We got Juan Berenger, 2.54. Juan doesn't get as many starts as everybody else, but when he does, he's been dealing pretty well. Win, so we got Morris and Petrie, each with seven, with the leader Alexander at nine. Petrie's got 64 Ks. Morris is up in the walks. That's been hurting him. 38 on the walks. Wilcox and strikeouts the Ks. Wilcox and, and Pet, Petrie. All right, I'll show you the National League real quickly. We've got Nepper and Houston with the ERA. we got 10 wins over there. Dwight Gooden with the Mets. And Danny Cox leading in losses with seven. And then their hitters. <clears throat> okay. Tony Gwynn leading with a nice 373 average. 15 dingers by Lascano at Philadelphia. <clears throat> so. That is it for now. That was game 50. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by. See you on game 60. So Cal Sabre saying take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and stay safe.